$175 for the pecking man, what? <laughs> Homo erectus, nice. Okay. Really, really nice uh, Vietnam, World War II, World War I, Civil War. I mean, they got everything. Really nice stuff here. Whew, look at this. I know I'm going to be in here for another two hours at least. Cold War Soviet artifacts. I wouldn't mind getting me one of those. 65 ain't bad. Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed that footage. Uh, I didn't take too much video inside the store uh, just because there were a lot of people shopping in there uh, and I was, you know, first of all I kind of felt a little bit uncomfortable to film around all those people uh, and I didn't really want to film too many people, uh, get them in the shot and whatnot. So, uh, you know, I filmed for a little bit, got some interesting shots, some, I took some pictures as well and, you know, I hope you enjoyed what I got. Uh, video wise or footage wise but right now we're gonna go over everything I'm at home obviously and uh, right now we're gonna go over everything that I picked up from there uh, I got quite a few things and you know this should be a nice little lengthy video uh, let's see here the first thing I'm gonna pick up and show you guys is uh, this pretty neat little canteen that I got here now I've got a uh, I've got a little Esbit stove here. Uh, this is post war Esbit stove, and what it is is it's basically just your portable uh, stove in the name. And a lot of soldiers use this, you know, because you put your little uh, uh, cube here that's surrounded with some sort of a you know flammable liquid, and you just place the cube in there, light it, and it stays lit for quite a little while. Uh, you know, you put your or if you want to put sticks and whatnot, light them on fire. And then what you do is you take your little canteen cup. And just set it on top, just like that. And uh, th there's another reason I... Oh, gosh. Whoo! <laughs> uh, there's another reason as to why I got this canteen cup, just so I could, uh, you know, display it with the Esbit stove. But the guy that was selling it put it for $11. Now, once I uh, took it up in my hands and actually, you know, started looking at it more closely... I noticed that it was dated 1941 uh, and the soldier's name was engraved into the bottom of this uh, canteen so it looks like he marked it with a knife or whatever now it's obviously not obviously not going to be seen on camera but I'll just show you some of the markings there's your US and you can see the 1941 or what I don't know if it's going to focus but you can kind of see the outline of it and if you look on the bottom, you can kind of see uh, the soldier's name. So it actually says uh, E. Wardzala. E. Wardzala. Wardzala. So that's W-A-R-D-Z-A-L-A. -A -A. So that's very, very, very cool, guys. Um, definitely one of a kind in my collection, at least. But uh, I definitely like that it's a personal uh, canteen, you know, some soldier uses during 1941, and now I've got it, so that's, that's pretty cool, uh, something to brag about in my collection, I guess, um, okay, next, I'll go, I'll go ahead and get this over with, uh, this is just your standard, uh, one six scale, uh, stand, figure stand, I picked this one up for one dollar, that's just because, I mean, I couldn't pass it for a buck, and I needed a stand for a figure that's coming in soon. It's going to be displayed on one of my top shelves there with, uh, let's see here. I've got a Russian figure, a German figure, World War II, and my American figure is coming in soon. It just it didn't come with a stand, so that's why I picked this one up. And I believe this stand is made by uh, Soldiers of the World. On there it says U.S. Marine, World War II. So, pretty cool. Next, we have a uh, M1 Grand, original M1 Grand clip. Uh, let's see. Now you can't really make this sound how you know when it comes out and whatnot. A lot of times, a lot of people can just like squeeze it down enough, and you could kind of hear. But I don't know. Maybe it's a myth. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody was talking about it. But anyways, uh, I don't see a date on here. I'm not sure if they dated these actually. Yeah, no, I didn't see anything on here. But pretty cool clip uh, for I think it was five bucks. Yeah, five bucks for this clip. A little pricey, but. 
I don't got one in my collection, so figured I'd get it. Next, uh, let's see here. So what I did get was a few Civil War items, right? Uh, one fossil item and some other stuff, but I'll show you in a second. I'm just trying to see what I want to... Uh, let's get the World War... Let's get the war stuff out of the way. Next, as you can see there, for $3.50, I got a uh, 45 caliber ACP uh, Vietnam War 1960s you know, uh, ammunition here. So I'm thinking that these are dummies. I'm hoping they are. No, I don't think the store that would sell actual ammunition in the... Uh, Relic section, <laughs> uh, but you know, there's two of them for you. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see if they say anything. It just says AR and then 68 or RA 68. Okay, so it's 1968 uh, ammunition there for 45, and it came in a case with a few others. Oh, with a few others, so I'll definitely keep that displayed. Next up, we're gonna go for this pretty cool clip that I have. Uh, this was, I think this was five bucks as well, but, um, I mean, I could not pass opportunity to pick this thing up. I mean, look at that. Woo. Uh, let's see here. I'm curious if, as, as to, uh, if they're dated. 20. Hmm. So I see a 72. There's three numbers actually. 772. And then there's a C. So... <laughs> This, this ammunition is either from 1977 or 1927. I, I, I hope it's from 1927. That would be awesome, but I doubt it. I don't know. The clip looks, you know, reasonably used up and pretty old, you know. So there is a high possibility that this could be from World War II, but I'll have to do more research about it. I keep on dropping things today. Oh, my gosh. Uh, anyways, we'll put that aside. Next, we're going to start moving into uh, Civil War items. But before we do, I also picked up for 3 bucks this uh, Cold War. Let me read it off here. I like that it's in a little plastic uh, slip here. And it's actually labeled as well. So, if I'm not sure, this will remind me what exactly it is. And it says, uh, Cold War Soviet money uh, era 1970s to 1980s. It's an original brick of Soviet currency left from the fall of the Soviet Union and discovered in an abandoned Soviet safe house. Uh, this, is, this is either one ruble or, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but let's see if I can see it better. There you go. And then there is the back. Really nice artwork on the back there. So, pretty cool little piece. Next, let's go ahead and get the uh, fossil thing over with. So, uh, the story with the fossil is, before I, I stopped by that place, I actually saw in a little coupon book that I found at a restaurant. Uh, they had a little deal going on that, um, you know, if you came to that place, to the relic room. Um, oh, I forgot to mention where I, where I got this stuff. Oh, goodness me. Uh, let's see here. Before we go over that. Obviously, by the title, you know exactly where, but I'm just going to say it. Uh, it's in Sevierville, Tennessee. Uh, let's see here. The place is called uh, Smoky Mountain Relic Room, and it's actually in inside of the Knife Works uh, store, world's uh, largest knife store, whatever. Uh, it's inside there. you got to find it on the very uh, let's see, bottom level of the, of the store. There's a few levels. Um, just figured I'd put that out there, you know, if, you're, if any locals are watching, you know. Uh, but if not, if you are ever traveling in the area, make sure to stop by. But anyways, there's a coupon that I found for that place. And it said you could either get one free fossil if you stop by or a free mineral. Uh, sadly, no World War II items for free. <laughs> uh, but I decided to go with a little shark teeth pack. You know, they had some shark teeth for free. Hey, why not? You know, probably going to give it to my little cousin or whatnot. Yeah, he's interested in that stuff, but... Hey, pretty cool, pretty cool. It's mostly for advertising just to get people to come to the store. And uh, I got to say, it kind of worked. I mean, I was I, th I thought it would be something a little bit bigger, but it'll do, it'll do. Uh, let's see here. Moving on. Got these two patches as well. Uh, this is your, 
I forget what this this means, but you know, you got your uh, wheel and two wings. For all my history buffs out there, I'm sure you know what that means. But really nice design. That's another reason why I picked it up. I did some uh, research on it. I kind of forgot some stuff. But if you feel like doing some research, just type in um, wagon with two or wheel with two um, wings uh, patch meaning, and you'll find it on Google. This, I wasn't too sure about the meaning on this, but, you know, really nice design on that. So, another little, uh, cool little patch to go with the collection. I've got, uh, I've got another patch in my collection right now. Here it is. It's a lot bigger than the ones that I got from today's, uh, pick. But, I figured I'd show you that. Uh, we're nearing it down to the Civil War stuff now. This is a Civil War era. But, you know, it kind of has like the older design and I like that. I found this uh, pretty cool little belt buckle. Uh, it's solid brass. It's got two cannons. Let's see if the, the camera will focus. Looks like it's not focusing today, but it's got two cannons on there, as you can see, and an X shape and uh, really, really nice. As it says there, kind of marks uh, marked uh, solid brass is what it's marked there. And what else we got here? Yeah, just says salt brass everywhere. But really cool piece overall, you know. Something to display and maybe something to eventually wear, you know. Something to use. Alrighty. Uh, I picked up for about four bucks this little uh, three ringer. This is uh, your American Civil War era three ringer bullet. Uh, it looks like to be uh, dropped, so it doesn't look like it was fired, yeah. Looks like it was just a dropped bullet. Otherwise, you know, if it was fired, it would kind of be smashed. There would be an impact plumb, but nope. This is uh, dropped in basically brand new condition, or unused, I'll, I'll put it that way. Definitely not brand new. A couple hundred years old. <laughs> and the final piece, final pick of today. This thing kind of gets my hands dirty, but... It's all worth holding, you know. This right here, for about five bucks, is a uh, shrapnel piece from it's a Civil War era uh, cannonball shrapnel piece. So this is from a fired Civil War cannon that hit something, you know, and these shrapnel pieces would have just, you know, splattered out and went everywhere. Uh, hopefully, you know, this is not something that uh, struck anyone. You never know, but most likely not, because a lot of those pieces just went, you know, uh, automatically, or not automatically, it just instantly went into the ground or trees or wherever uh, it was fired uh, at. So, really nice little piece there. Nice little piece of American history. So, and all of this stuff is actually original, if uh, I was going to say, other than, yeah, basically everything's originally here. Uh, I did not see anything, and I've kind of trained myself to keep an eye out for reproductions or things that don't seem true. And if they don't seem like the uh, the real thing, I will I will not pick it up. Uh, but most of these, you know, they had dates on them. They uh, had the natural wear um, that you know made me believe that they are real. Uh, but that store, you know, sells. Let's let's just say ninety eight percent of that store is legit. You know. Uh, original items from whatever they're selling uh, so that's everything that I've got to show you guys I hope you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new and I know uh, currently all you guys were you know uh, expecting for me to release videos you know weekly but uh, I got held up we're gonna be moving soon or at least I am so there's gonna be a period of time where all of my stuff is gonna be in boxes and I'm not gonna be able to make any videos Unless I stop by museums or whatever, uh, maybe then. But just just so you know, just a heads up, there's going to be a time, a longer period of time where there's not going to be any videos released at all. Uh, so that's a good time to go back and rewatch some of my older videos. Uh, not the first videos, please don't watch. They're really, really original and older videos. <laughs> my voice was a lot lower then, so. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.